Ten shots of tequila, and it's a party. Raise another glass, and I ain't sorry. Raise them up if you're fucked up. Good times, good people, trying to have a good time. Trying to have a good time. Yeah, that's good times, good people. <laughs> Good times, good people, trying to have a good time. What's poppin' everybody? Trying to have a good time. That's good times, we here good today. people. Yeah. Good yeah. times, yeah. good yeah. people. Yo, <laughs> yeah. my brother to my right and my brother to my left. Oh, First, we're going to start with you. you tell no us where we can find you at, good your times. social media plugs, all that. Um, my name is Hussam. I'm an artist here in Northern Virginia, D.C., DMV area. You could find me uh, at... Usam Music, H U S A M Music dot com, and that's my handle for Instagram and Facebook as well. Okay, all right, dope, all right. dope. Hey, and my man to the left, masked up. Where can we find you at, brother? Yo, I'm Saquon. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Saquon Music, S A E K O N E, Saquon Music, and on Facebook, S A S A E K O N E Music dot com. Boom. Sorry, no dot com, just Saquon Music. Saquon music. Saquon music. I know this guy for a very long time. He's dope. And my lady to my right. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, Quanta Valen on Instagram and Quanta Valen on Facebook. And you've been posting like crazy. I've been posting like crazy. I've been watching you post it. Yes. yes, yes. I've been posting, been posting like crazy. We learned from my last. And I'm working on a YouTube, so I'm oh. out there. Oh, I'm everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> and shout out to my boy to my left at Rex Carolis. Hey, the one and only. Oh man, he killing it. Shit sound clean. Was sound clean up in this? What you think? Yes, very clean. Very clean. Very clean. <laughs> very so, clean. my man who's Sam, yo, guess what we gonna do, man? What are we gonna do? We jump into that fish bowl. Let's go. We jump into the fish bowl. You get to put your hand in there. <laughs> I put some new questions in there. That's right. You get to ask whatever it's been you upgraded. It's, we upgraded it slightly. <laughs> Got the big one. Uh -oh. It is a big one. What would be the hat to end all hats? What could you wear on your head that would make people stop what they're doing and stare in awe and amazement? Mm. Shit. I put what some weird questions in there. That was you? <laughs> that was you? <laughs> I don't want to talk so about what it. would be the hat to end all hats? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Me? Yeah. Um, have you ever watched Fairly Odd Parents? Yes. You you know uh, Doug Dimmadome, the guy with the oh yeah enormously tall <laughs> hat yep. that like it you can never see it. the top hat mm -hmm. the top of the hat it Ever. extends past the sky mm -hmm. a hat that yeah. just keeps going yeah, up you like, just, like you <laughs> can't see the top of it <laughs> yeah and so there's that's it you just see a hat I love the fairy that tall I love cartoons is that the ones with the like the wings and the they parents? have the fa the two fairies yeah ah, I have watched it. this show's outrageous it yeah is. It is. I've never seen that character though now I'm gonna watch oh, it gotta, to find that yeah okay you got he had an answer. Yeah, like <laughs> one, yo, the hat to end all hats. What do you got? Probably a hat that is like holographic that'll let you see through your head. Mm. <laughs> wow, like, so you okay. wouldn't even expose know my puny there. brain. The fuck? It'll be just like okay, so it'll be the brim and then see through. Yeah, so like we would see the background, so you can go like incognito. Uh, you can hide or some shit. Would Maybe you for like hunting? Would what? I be able to see her brain? What the fuck are you hunting? <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> oh, shit. You, you were like, okay, so what you got? No. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> what you, you got? For hunting. <laughs> <laughs> yo, they no, came up with some dope hats, yo. <laughs> for hunting? Yo, whosomehats.com. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, bullshit. Hunting is just an idea. No, That's how you bullshit. could use it. I mean, that'd be dope because it won't you'd be camouflage, camouflage, we say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? What hat do you got to end all hats? I don't know. I'll be wearing a wig sometimes. It's kind of like a hat. <laughs> I see you. I see a wig. So, the, so that means that hat's already in there. The hat's mm -hmm. already in. And that they ends all off hats. These bitches in. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> she won already. She won that. I think she won, yeah. I, so now I'm going to give a hat, though. And I, I would just give this. Wear like a the, Jimmy hat. That oh. would be great. Care that would be one. nice. You should always protect yourself. Wear a Jimmy hat. The Jimmy hat on top <laughs> the of the Jimmy head hat. to let the lady know that he it's, practices yeah. safe sex. He's safe. It'd be like a tight condom. Just have the condom up there and the mask That's on. That's my hat. Say. And, 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 my hat would be a Jimmy hat to let the lady It'll know he practices safe sex. That's it. That's the hat. Um, she gave me the idea. Okay. That's an old school. school cap. Like old the KRS school. one. That's a skull cap. Love that. Like a little skull cap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I imagine it drooping off the back of your head. Just probably look like <laughs> Adam <Adebisi> from Oz. <laughs> <laughs>
But anyway, I got my own question. Did anybody <laughs> watch Versus? The Versus. The Versus, uh, Jeezy versus... Yes. Gucci. Gucci Mane. What did I you did, think of that? I did watch it. Did you watch it? I didn't, no. Did you watch it? No. Dude, I, you save yourself some it. time. Why, why? <laughs> you save yourself some time. I watched it because I knew we were going to talk about it on here. Mm -hmm. It was... Uh, mm -hmm. It was weird, man. You know, I'm not a ver I'm not into the verses. Remember, uh, we talked about right, this? right, right, right. I don't watch. Do you watch the verses at all? No, I did actually maybe see a snippet of the Gucci. Like, did Gucci say, "Look, bro, this is what it is," and started like lecturing him a little bit? Like, was that the one you're talking? Yeah, about? Yeah, it was like argument. They've been yeah. they were arguing about a beef that they had from <laughs> Gucci Man was just like uh, old. And it was couch. cringe, right? It was cringe. No, it was verses. It was a. It was a. It's a. What is it? <laughs> Who who has that? Um, who owns Versus? Is it uh, Timberland and and Swiss Beats? I didn't know. coming up. I think, up? I think producers? that's no. I think that's who's doing the verses. Oh, that's who's doing. You see, yeah, I didn't, even, you know, I didn't even know who's doing. I'm not really into it. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I'm not into them because I've heard these people music before. Right. I don't need them to play the shit to me I, again. Yeah. Against the nigga, I didn't want you to play it against <laughs> anyway. You know, what I'm I don't give a fuck that that motherfucker is the nigga you playing it with. So the the big deal the big <laughs> deal sorry, about guys, it was. Uh, supposedly, um, Jeezy sent somebody to kill Gucci. And, oh, Jesus Christ. And, and Jeezy's man got killed. Jesus, that's the beef. And that wow. happened about 20 years ago, supposedly. Maybe 15, 20 years ago. I did see that when I read it. And yeah. so, that's why it was such a big deal to watch this specific one. Just to see how much things have changed over the years. And it's, it was just like watching... Uh, a old nigga and a new nigga. It did feel like that, uh, or, or to me, he was kind of he was kind of not trying to go that route, the ignorant route. Jeezy was not, and Gucci was still upset. But it's like, dude, it's twenty years. Mm -hmm. You both, but got he good he upset money. in 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 brown dress shoes. Like, <laughs> nigga, I'm not that scared. You got on, you want to slide off the stage? He's wearing too much. <laughs> you know, I, I love both their music. Shout out to Gucci and Jeezy. Oh, love, love them. But that was terrible, music, and y'all know better than that. Are you guys Gucci fans? Gucci or Jeezy? Between, let's go. You Gucci? You listen to Gucci or Jeezy? Oh, music? I'm Jeezy. I'm Jeezy though. Probably Jeezy. Jeezy. Because I Jeezy? Just started yeah. with him. It's Jeezy because that's the only one yeah. I really listen to. Back right, to the time. exactly. For me, I'm the only ones I I'm going to be honest about. with both you, all the guys here. It is such a fucking tie for me. Yeah. Because I love Gucci. Well, no, I mean it's shit. not. But I but, love that shit. I ain't but I can lie. honestly say that I've listened to more of Jeezy. I then I to have both. of Gucci, so I'll, that's why I choose. I could choose it as, word, as a female, as a female, and looking at what you have to look at. You see, you do. It, you it see, females, when y'all listen to music, you do that. You see, when I listen to it. I'm yeah. like, Jeezy makes me feel like that motivation, and uh -huh. Gucci makes me feel like no matter how hard that shit is down in the in the gutter, we looking good out this motherfucker. Yeah, no, I don't know. He was, he <laughs> looked like he was going to court. The, the clothes was different. Yeah. Well, he, he gonna have to learn. So yeah, that's the verses. Okay, cool. cool. Next. Let's move on to the next topic. How about uh, Will Smith? Uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. They're gonna be doing the remake, mm -hmm. and he patched it up with the original. Aunt Aunt Viv. Viv. Yeah. Oh. They patched it up. Yeah. Live. I didn't know that they. Oh, hold that, on. Can I say one more thing? Issue, can I say one more thing? I never about knew the, the verses. I forgot. Like the verses. Right. It started off with politics. Uh, Did you watch that? No. The mayor of... Oh. Remember, I was drunk and I was going to Oh, yeah, you were live. Okay. <laughs> I don't like all that politics. Just give me the hip-hop. But anyway... I was drunk as shit. I was drunk as shit. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. And you were live, And yo. he came up. He's like, I'm only on here for a second. I'm out of here. I'm like, look, I I'm, was not, fucked I'm not wearing a cool onesie, son. I had a... Oh, onesie? my God. <laughs> my system was, was on fire. She was rocking a onesie. But yes, anyway. I did have one of onesie. I did. I did. Have you ever went back and down. watched the first Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? The, yes, the pilot? They yes, they talk about a lot of controversial stuff oh, that yeah. right now would probably like tick yeah. off people. Oh, yeah. The first, yeah. The first episode, yeah. I, I, I completely agree. Yeah, because when I got HBO I Max, don't even remember I the watched first it, episode. I was like, let me watch it. And they, they touch on like so many different like stuff about the mm -hmm. environment, black people, government. But it's just like they slide it under the table, though. If it didn't have a rap to it, I probably joke. wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you know how you you went back and watched Sanford and Son? I did. I, I did that. I watch, but I watch it all the time. I watch Sanford and Son all the time. All the time. All the time. But the Fresh Prince was dope. It I was. Remember. So it was. what do you think? Okay, back to the Aunt Viv. My guy, my bad guys. I Go ahead. To Aunt Viv and the original Aunt Viv. And Will I didn't Smith. know that was even an issue with them. Yeah, they were beefing hard. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. I think it was because Will Smith, Aunt Viv wanted to be like the star of the show, right? Oh, okay. And then Will, yeah, and then Will Smith is like, and everyone's like, Aunt Viv, you're like, 
going crazy and then they ended up replacing her because wow. dark-skinned women are aggressive that's all they're gonna say i like wow. her better though the original one <laughs> oh, she, she was, was way better, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she was way better but you know what i can't say she was better because they may have written the other one to be I so. already didn't like her. <laughs> you know, I think they we wrote her. We know damn well they ain't saying good bitch. And then, <laughs> yeah, I know who know. the fuck my aunt is. You gonna bring this red bitch in here with all this damn hands. <laughs> talking yeah, about yeah. it's your aunt. Who in the fuck did this happen? Well, when did he remarry with a woman with the same name? That was... He should have so got divorced. I, I love the original Aunt Viv as well. I do too. I thought the I didn't beef like the was one. that she was... Well, I watched them makeup right and she she was going through abusive relationship at the time mm -hmm. her husband was abusing her or something i believe mm -hmm. and he was saying, yeah, ooh, <laughs> yeah. and then he was and then she was saying what well one of the things i enjoyed that she told him she said you know you told the people in hollywood that i was difficult to deal mm -hmm. with and that destroyed my career mm -hmm. and she said that live and you know they cried and you know they had their moment but she put that out there because i see a lot of back to just sisters right now and brothers moving up in Hollywood. There's a lot of movies and shows coming out mm -hmm. with minorities. In, right, right. You know. Can we talk about how mature Will Smith is? <laughs> like, talk about it. Oh my gosh, like, you know, like with his relationships, all the You like, can talk press. To him about anything. Oh my God, he's like, can we sit down and have a civil discussion? And I'm <laughs> like, you are, you have the patience of a <laughs> saint. Oh saint. my God. He got the patience what kind of, of that Xanax money. Is that? <laughs> money will keep you calm. Patience. It's like, is that a blue one? Or it's it's having one? the money to, to dip in your Lamborghini after yep. they piss you off. Yeah. It's a very specific question. What, what color is Xanax? <laughs> <laughs> Xanax? What color you think that is? So what color is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably blue. So I'm, I'm happy they I'm, I'm happy they uh they worked it out, man. Yeah, that was awesome. Because I, I dug the original. Because that was our family too. We kind of grew up with them and and watched everybody grow. Yeah. Um. My daughter's name is Tatiana. I named her oh, after okay. her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me ask you a question then. Uh, who was your favorite character on Fresh Prince of Bel Air? I love Tatiana Ali. Tatiana Ali. Um, Ashley Banks. <laughs> yo, yo, she was hot back then. Man. Give her her original name. Give her original government. I love. And I when love. she met Tevin Campbell, I died. No I Tevin died. Campbell. Oh my god! Even though I know he, you know, whatever. No now. Tevin Campbell. But I mean, he, but back then, you know, people look terrible now. They probably used Poor to have Tevin a crush Campbell. on the stuff. He looks terrible. I love you. Poor like, Tevin Campbell. I love the young you. You know, the little you. <laughs> when I was young. The, yeah, because when I was young too. Because right now you look terrible. But that was a that was a great 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 show. When he came on, I mean, it just, it, you know, because back then we didn't really have much that we could watch except for on mm -hmm. Friday or Saturday. We did not. That was it. So, you know. So who'd you like? Who'd you like, brother? Um, I your character? I loved uh, Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. Absolutely. Rest in peace, and, 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 Rest the, in peace. and the relationship with Will Smith, the way, like, he would just piss him off and then he'd, like, he'd freak out and get all white-eyed. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. Uncle love, Phil. Like yeah. Oh, it's a hard one. Carlton or Will Smith? Or like, <laughs> the episode okay. I remember that was funny for both of them was when they were uh, dancing to Apache. Yes. Oh, that was oh, great. Yes. That's a yes. classic. That one had me rolling when That's I was like eight or nine or something. <laughs> That's a classic. But Carlton is. is so funny, though. Remember when he took the speed or whatever? Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, like, yeah. Like, he was just an overall good character. Oh, that yeah. dude can act. Uh, Alonzo yeah. Rivero. Yeah, yeah, I still do the dance. Alonzo, Alfonso, yeah. I still do the dance. I, I, I can't can do it. I don't know how to do it. I used to fuck it at. So, he killed that dance thing. though. Yeah, oh, I love it. He killed the dance. That's definitely his, even though he ain't win the fight. So I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> you know he tried to yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, against uh, Fortnite, right? Yeah, he not, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Fortnite. It's not like, his. They Fortnite, they uh, he lost dance, that. Baby. Yeah, they oh, not. He they wasn't rocking. Nah, Fortnite. Fortnite killing me. Nah, they wasn't Fortnite. rocking with that. We trying to get. We trying to do a Fortnite podcast in Fortnite. Let them holler at me. We spoke into existence. Yo. I like Alfonso. So I love Alfonso, yo. Carlton okay. was Carlton was my dude. I, I, I would say Hillary too, though. Hillary was dope too. When her husband died, that was awesome. You know what? Actually, <laughs> that was so dude, awesome. Hillary's character had a lot of like, like she went over the line a lot yeah. with her character because she was always a gold digger. She mm -hmm. was always getting that money. She and, and the, the the things she said, yeah, were like hard. Yeah, yeah, she was real tough. Man, you know what? Hillary, Hillary, Hillary and Carlton yeah. were dope, though. They were yeah, dope. They were dope. I'll give you that. For some bougie kids. Oh, there was some dope bougie kids. <laughs> I hope I have some bougie kids uh, like that. Some dope bougie I'm kids. I'm going to just be like, lucky. Yes, Speaking sir. into existence. Exactly. That's the goal. 
I bet, bet. So, yo, what's next? How about this lady? You watch this, uh, this is Taser Karen. <laughs> you know, that sounds funny Taser Karen, Taser Karen. So, you know, they're calling these, uh, unfortunately, these older white women right. that are very racist mm -hmm. and just backwards thinking. Right. They are attacking, being aggressive to black people because of just you know, unfortunate things. But anyway, she goes over to this man's house, has a taser in her hand and her dog, and she's telling the man that, you know, he, he should never bring his pit bull outside ever. Yeah. And that she's that he's in a white neighborhood. Yeah. And he's acting and he's black. Acting black. Wow. And he shouldn't act black in mm -hmm. a white neighborhood. Where was this? Damn, you know, I, I don't know. I think it was um, Florida. Was, it was Florida. Florida. Every crazy shit happens in Florida. Florida. <laughs> Florida. Damn, that's just... That's we love y'all. <laughs> I don't know. We got some fans in Florida, so, you know. But, that, yo, but for, yo, be Why careful, guys, because there's some crazy motherfuckers around you. So she had a taser and is in front of him with his daughter and his family. You saw mm -hmm. it? Did you see it? I seen it. But she, I, I don't I don't see how they could be so bold. Bold. That's see, what, got, I think that's what creeps me out the most. It's like, how can you be so bold as to come to my house? And stood there the and whole time. And stood there the whole time. Yeah. With with a little pool But said in her that head. said that Classic. the dog was gonna attack her dog and her dog is like this big and she's holding it. Ain't nothing wrong with the dog. And in the video, she was petting the pit the bull. The pit bull. Because she didn't know that he hit my, the You know dude, the ring? You know how you got the video there. camera wrong? That camera's like all over the house. Yeah. And, all, and he had the good cameras because his camera yeah, picked up all clear, the audio. Clear it was clear. Man. And it picked up the audio. And she's petting yeah. his pit bull. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, so, someone's trying to sell something. They probably just did it on purpose to get that exposure or something. That's weird. If yeah. she was petting the dog. That's very she weird. She petted right? the dog and then I guess wanted to say something to them because they was black and she really didn't know watch how to start like, that conversation, I guess. Watch her like t-shirt selling business go up or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> or like his or something, you know? You never know. Man, yeah. that's 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 on you. Hey, that's deep, but that's what's shit. going on. He went conspiracy. He went all the way down with yeah. it. He, he made me go, you he know found what? found something wrong. But that shit did look kind of strange. Because she looked kind of, she looked crazy. Yeah, she did. Look, she probably over there. Fabricate something. Uh, white woman breaks into the All Breaks No Gas podcast. Yes. <laughs> no, please, Karen. Do not. Do Which not. one, though? Yeah, not. she going to get her ass what? <laughs> I can guarantee you that. Let me tell you something. Somebody today told me that they were in a certain state and their car broke down. I said I would have ran. Yeah. <laughs> so that girl come up in here, <laughs> ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Karen, you ain't fucking with me. Karen. My boy who's Sam here, my boy Sake One. Hey. They came in today, man, from representing. Where y'all from the DMV? Where y'all from? Um, Northern Virginia area, like Vienna area. Okay. Like Vienna. I'm from Northern Virginia. I grew up Falls Church, whatever, right. Arlington, Manassas. So okay. The whole area. Hey. Can, can I ask y'all a question? Ask yeah, shit. ask go away. I didn't even th I didn't think about that. What if I have it? Who would you, <laughs> who would you love to interview here, famous or not famous? Just mm. who would be your dream alive? interviewer? Um, can we do two alive and or or alive? No, we can do alive. We can do alive. I'm just I just thought what went there. Yeah, oh, alive, Lord. alive and uh, and dead <laughs> too. A two for one. Okay, I do alive and dead. Okay. Who, would you, who okay. would you love to interview? Uh, first, because right now I'm just like, I'm a big fan of this person, mm. Dave Chappelle. Oh, mm. nice. And he's from the DMV. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And he's from here. And that's what Absolutely. I would love to interview him because he's from here and he got out. Right. You know? And right. I'm, and we trying to, all of us get out. Right. Right. You know? So I would like to just pick his that's brain. That's the plan is to get out. Some get people out. do forget that. You know? Just okay. get out. All right. And then uh, the uh, dead, notorious B.I.G. Oh, oh man. I love Biggie. Oh my god! I'm a gosh. huge Biggie Me fan. Too. I'm from I was you know I'm from New York. I was when I was a young man. I was raised there, and I saw the energy. <laughs> There's a reason why we connected so well. Biggie, yeah. I love Biggie. <laughs> I, I am a Biggie fan, so I would love Biggie. to sit in front of that dude and just yeah. talk. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I would say of course. Pop. There you go. Yes, that's her. The dad. first. That's the one that's that's not alive. That's that's the one that's not alive. Baby. He's alive. Mm -hmm. He's rocking the shirt. Poetic justice. <laughs> it's really <laughs> obvious. Okay, and um, probably um, Drake. Okay. Um, I really want to get into his mind. I guess I want to see what what makes him so powerful. He's very powerful. Oh yeah, I agree. I'm there with you. For such a little person, he's a very powerful person. He little. So. Was he he's a tall guy. I think he's a big guy. 
Well, I mean, you know, from what I heard. Oh, you hilarious. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Little, little, little and height or what? <laughs> she knows don't get caught up don't. in it, bro. <laughs> don't get caught up. She knows something we don't. But I agree with you. Yeah, I would That's definitely want to. I would definitely want to get pick his brain a little bit and yeah. see what makes him so powerful. Great team behind him. Too. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I respect that team's hustle. Oh yeah, they they fucking awesome. Yeah, I they keep that. shit going. They do. That little a video with Justin Bieber. I, oh, I love it. Drake's, whole, Drake's whole video is all I'm done by Justin you, Bieber. It I was, was awesome. Not a fan of him that much at first, but that grind and his hustle is sick. Made He's me go sick. Wow, that kid's good. You can't even you can't, can't even fade it. it. And you watch the grassy. Yeah, I can't watched that growth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, ain't that man is powerful? Yeah, can't deny it. Can't deny it. He's I powerful. agree. And Shout he, out to Drake. Seems seems humble. Yeah, I don't he, know him personally, you know, but, but he seems whatever he's humble. presenting works well. It does work well. He's I don't see him in a lot of What's drama and all of that. My yeah. sister used to watch Degrassi, and like I he he wasn't big back then, Mm-mm. and I was like in denial. I was like, is that the same dude? Yep. And I was That's like, him. it can't be. It, it has to be someone different. But mm-hmm. the same dude. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I was like, "Whoa, that's a major change." That's what I'm saying. What makes him so powerful? Yeah. I mean, you can do anything if you yeah, absolutely. Mind. That's exactly all that means. To that's me. exactly what it means. We're gonna do this. What you, yo? Hey, you too. My two. If I could interview anybody, alive or dead. Yeah. Um. Alive, I would. Um, I definitely bring on Eminem. Okay. Oh, I nice. love Eminem. Yeah. Okay. Um. Favorite Eminem song. He's dope. Favorite Eminem song? Mm. I love Soldier. Good song. Mm-hmm. That's a good song. Very motivational. It is. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Um, lyrically, he's crazy, of course. Uh, mm-hmm. But I just love, like, you know, he, like, a lot of rappers like him didn't really exist where he came from and how he looked and all that. He really paved the way. He mm-hmm. did. You know, so. Dead. I would love to interview Frank Sinatra. I think we talked about yeah, this. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm a fan of the Rat Pack and everything. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. They All got right. Old blue that eyes. was a good answer. That was a very good answer. Thank you guys for sharing Thank that, you. man. We're going to jump on into the interview with you guys, man. Thank you guys for coming out today. Absolutely. Thank you. Please. How do you like to drive out here? What you think? It's what, nice. It's a right? lovely drive. It's beautiful. This neighborhood is nice. It's dope. It is dope. Nice, lovely drive, right? Oh. When I grow up, I want to live in some place <laughs> like this. Me too. I want to grow up and be like him myself. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> One Yo, day. Tell, tell the people where we can find you guys at. And I want to shout out one thing, Quana. My boy Tim right here, Sake One, has been rolling with the podcast from day one. I know. He has been I'm telling me that. when it's good, when Aww. it's too, when the when the volume is low on our audio. Oh wow. He's he tells he's on me, it. Yeah, he on it. So I love that. When I had an opportunity to yo, thanks, Squee. I said he got you you come through, man. I yes. got you. Thanks yes. for having us. No problem. My thank pleasure. You. My, thank you for listening. Thank yes. you for sharing as well. So uh, tell everybody your handles uh, real quick. Where, where can we find you guys you at? First? Yeah. Sure. Um, so Husam, H-U-S-A-M, music.com, and at Husam Music uh, on Instagram, Facebook. Um, follow our journey because uh, we're, we're doing some really great things. We started out with hip-hop, and now we're doing more singing stuff like I showed you today mm-hmm. and uh, that transition. So, yeah, I'd love to see you guys. Music's yes. amazing. It's hot. It's it really is. It really is. What can we find it's you dope. Out, brother? Uh, Instagram, Sake One Music, S A E K O N E, Sake One Music. Same on Facebook. Um, I make beats, um, all different types. Uh, I love hip hop, boom bap beats specifically, but I really like EDM music, like techno, deep house. So I make some of that stuff. Uh, right. Sometimes I'll like make rock based music. Uh, I made most of the beats on his last album, Risen yeah. from My Wounds. So you want to see him in action? Yeah. So yes. you, you can Definitely find buy it. a beat from him. You can buy him, uh, find him on Spotify, Hussam Music. The album's Risen From My Wounds. So I made most of those beats there. And we oh, collaborated wow. on basically all of them. So, Wow. Yo. Wow. Man, this That's guy dope. Is super talented. He's, That's dope. He's very humble. Both of these guys are very humble Thanks. in their skill and, and talent. And very skilled, and what yes. Do. Because 
I didn't expect no. what I expected. Like you said, that you said you saw me clicking through your YouTube videos and everything. Dude, I went, he went four years deep into my music. <laughs> you know, I tell you, I dissect, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 Don't nah, tell me you're a musician and be like, oh, I got stuff. Listen to my nah, stuff. I'm like, okay, I'm a, I listen. will listen to your stuff. Oh, your yeah. Stuff, including your very All old your stuff. stuff. <laughs> the beginning. I want to hear what you did from the beginning. I want to become a fan. Yeah. Did you yeah. see the transformation from where I started? Dude, so? you were singing. I said Frank Sinatra. Yeah. But then I said, what I say, uh, Kid Cudi, yeah. mm-hmm. from Tribe, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And uh, I was feeling the 90s hip hop. Yeah. I love 90s hip hop. Nice. But I also love it's Kid It's definitely Cudi. dope. I, I did love it. I, I, Kid Cudi is a it, league of his own, too. In. Because he just attacked a niche that's just no one else really. It's trip hop. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I said it might be a whole nother genre. Right? The way it, the way it flows and the way it transitions and mm-hmm. it moves it, it bends I love yes. I love the bend yes so I'm gonna jump in to ask you questions okay who inspired you to make music so I was 19 years old still in college I ended up dropping out but um, you want to uh, say what school that was I was University of Virginia okay um, UVA yeah. All right. You know, you know anyone from there? I don't know. I, of course, I'm, I'm from the area, so I don't tell people from you. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, so I was there. Um, I really didn't like what I was what studying. What was your major? I was majoring in bio, um, wow. but then I switched wow. to kinesiology, and they're like, wow. you, you can't switch schools like that, but I did. And then. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. And then. I'm paying you guys. And then switched <laughs> to the business school. And I'm wow. like, man, I can't find anything I like. Wow. You know, and I'm here spending, you know, money that we really didn't have so yeah. i was like you know I'm, I'm just gonna drop and uh so i was like okay what what would i really like to do i basically asked myself one question if money was no object what would, you do? What would i be doing right now like mm-hmm. if money didn't matter i just had time to spend what would i be doing and music was the answer and hey. particularly singing but i didn't think i could sing at that time so i was like okay what's learnable for me i loved hip-hop i grew up on Mm hip-hop you know and logic was someone that really showed me you can be different Mm -hmm. and still be successful at rapping because i was a bit afraid you know because a lot of rappers have a sort of image you know and i don't really fit in with that Uh, but then i think now i hate the button but today yes there is no image yes the image is you what are you doing right like you either wear a lot of skinny jeans or you don't (laughs) (laughs) interesting um hilarious so i started with that i couldn't stay on beat i couldn't like i couldn't write great lyrics um i was very monotone and you know i kind of just kept to myself for like a year or two uh it took me two years to stay on beat correctly it took me two wow. years to to like in and out of the studio so you're, man you're self-taught basically yes That's i would go to, i would go wow. to the studio and you know, it would come out all wrong. And my producer would be like, dude, this is, I mean, this is not it. I'd walk home, take the bus home and be like, just, oh, it's, it feels awful, you know. Um, and then eventually got better and better. I worked, mm-hmm. you know, practiced six, seven hours a day. Wow. Rapping. Um, got real good at rapping. I'm like, okay. I made, you know, co- dropped a couple albums. Then I found out I could sing at a chance in <laughs> Las Vegas. We went to Las Vegas and I love Frank Sinatra. So I was like, yo, let me do a rendition. I was drunk as, sh- as shit. And uh, <laughs> went, went, performed and got like a standing ovation. And my wow. friend was like, you know, you probably should check out that. I actually met, you have a Tupac sh- shirt on. I actually met Tupac's mentor, okay. um, his, his, uh, his early mentor. And I sang for her and she was like, you have something there. Wow. And so, wow. Nice. So I've been pursuing that ever since. Oh, so. wow. You got questions for Aquana? I don't know. I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let me touch your arm. Touch 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 <laughs> You want to tell them oh, about oh, 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 Yo, yo, y'all mind? Go. I have a question real quick. I got to be go right ahead, back. Go y'all ahead. Go ahead. I got it. Be right back. Guys. My bad. No, I don't do this, but. Nah, you go. You good. You good. You good. So what made you start to do beats? Me? Oh, um. I mean, I've been a hip hop head for a while. Uh, I mean, I grew up on like rock music because my my uncles would listen to like Queen, oh, like, wow. po- Police, right type of eighties like that. Yeah. But then, like, once I figured out about like hip hop, like like real school, true mm-hmm. school hip hop, I started getting into like turntablism, and then I was like. I should just make my own beats because I, I got the computer, the shittiest computer back in the day, and just <laughs> I tried it, yeah. And it worked. It worked, yeah. It's not easy making beats. Uh, I mean, there's so many different 
It depends. Yeah. People trying to make, you know, and trying to cut off the next person's. It's easier. You have easier access to do it nowadays. Now, so, that's what I mean. Yeah. It's, it's it's hard to stand out, though. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because it seemed like everybody that got a computer think they um a whiz kid now. <laughs> they like, hey. Look, I'm an artist. I right? guess. Yeah. <laughs> they get, you know, they get an iPhone and say they're, you know, a it's photographer. All about, <laughs> like, it's all about the hi hat. I'm a model. <laughs> I'm a model. So, what about those, IG. About those type beats. You know, yeah. Everybody's selling those type beats. Everybody's yeah. selling those type beats. So, yeah. it's hard to stand out. Yeah. yeah. And that's, what, that's what's good about what you do as well mm-hmm. is that it's best to stand out because right. it's everybody fits in. Everybody's trying to fit in. When it's best to stand out. I mean, my beats are different, though. Like, you'll mm-hmm. hear people say, my shit hits different or mine is different. Yeah. Or like, no, you have the same hi-hat, tra- uh, trap hi-hats, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. like, mine yeah. is actually different. And I think that's why, like, he picked my beats. Because mm-hmm. we were both on a, on a, a different whole, level. Yes. Yeah. And you got to step outside the box these days because everybody is trying to fit into the same box and be the same man to be the biggest one when you can just be your own boss. It's hard, though. Like oh, people, it ain't never gonna be easy. Because people want that specific sound, and you're like, "All right, no, you, know man, you mean? guys like, gotta keep doing what you do." I'm sorry, I don't know what I jumped in on, but <laughs> I had to take it from family emergency. <laughs> but so you guys are talking about how y'all met? Kind of. Mm-hmm. She asked mm-hmm. me how I got into beats, yeah. and we started talking about all this stuff. Okay, okay. Because yeah. how did you guys meet? Did I am I jumping in on? No, anything? that's no. good. So we we used to, so like around late 2018, I started like heavily getting into my beats because before it was just like i would make beats stop whatever blah 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 i started mm. i said i made like a switch in my head i was like i'm just gonna do this until like i can't anymore right wow. so i started getting with like-minded people we were going to some dude's house producer's house or whatever like a little mini studio kind of like this right i met him mm. and then we just sort of like started vibing you just click yeah what yeah. did he say that made you go i'm working because this guy's talented mm. he's he hasn't even cracked his potential. Right. And when the, when the world finds out what he can do. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, man. I made a song with him before. Okay. A couple songs with him. Okay. My guy. Okay. What, what did he we say? We're going to talk made, about that. One day we got to talk about that. <laughs> so what, what, made, what made you go, this this guy right here? Well, um, so through that mutual producer that we were we were working with, we made songs together. The producer there kind of like wasn't really involved that much. So we were already making music together. And I thought it sounded good. And, you know, he kept showing up. And mm-hmm. someone who keeps showing up, I respect. Absolutely. And, uh, it's hard know, to find, especially with music. Exactly. You and, get a lot of and, and I wasn't, <laughs> I <know. laughs> and we weren't, like, I wasn't paying him. He had no incentive to come and show up, but he kept showing up. And I think that's a, a test of character. Yeah. And Absolutely. someone who can continue showing up is someone I want to work with. Absolutely. So. Yeah, that's, that's right. what I saw with him, too. We that's just right. kept, we just kept going. Yeah. yeah, we appreciated each other. Somebody you know? got the same vibe you got yeah. ready to go. You you want I think so there's something interesting about him. You want to mm-hmm. tell him about LA? Tell him about LA just in how general. I lived in LA. Not not details, but just basically dropped out back. of college at 19, yeah. moved to LA and just lived on my own for yeah. a little bit, chasing the dream. That's dope. Yeah. 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 What part um, of LA? Um, MacArthur Park area. MacArthur Park. Area. Oh wow, yeah, rough area. So, like, wow. he, did, he didn't give rough. up. Yeah. He didn't give up. He's, wow. he's going stronger than ever. That is so rough. what made you come back here? Yeah. So I was two or three years in, and I saw two or three years. Wow, that's yeah. a long time, right? Yeah, you know, and and when you're when you live in MacArthur Park, you realize how po- important environment is, mm-hmm. because when you have everybody around you kind of have you know broke loser mentality, you know, everyone pissed off, you know what I mean? Everyone's mm-hmm. trying to fight you and stuff. It's like, dude, you know, it's like. Mm-hmm. You're you're literally giving in to what this system is is helpful po- exactly. Um, so three years in, I kind of had a mental breakdown. I was like, okay, I can stay here another seven, ten years and hope something happens, or I can uh, retreat, go back to here where I grew up, and find a way, find another way mm-hmm. through yeah. it. And because I saw people, man, chasing a dream ten years, fifteen years, and mm-hmm. seeing nothing, and I'm like, man, it's been three. I haven't seen any sort of progress i gotta regroup yeah and so that's what i did came back i was like thousands of dollars in debt and all this mm-hmm. shit and uh mm-hmm. ever since then i cleaned up mm-hmm. now we're stronger than ever that's you mastered your craft yeah while you were doing that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's dope i yeah. appreciate that story yeah it gave you definitely gave you some inspiration so how would with. you describe the music that you typically create powerful um oh. something that powerful uh, experience right like mm-hmm. you were like 
uh, yes. you were listening to it, man, I thought you're like, I feel like this is a movie. Yeah. And this is was. exactly what we're trying to create is an experience. It's it like was. when you're listening to it, there's ups, there's downs, there's, you know, happy moments, sad moments, and then you can all feel that. And everything is centered around the story. So what you heard was best friend and best mm -hmm. friend is a nostalgic story about your best friend. You've known mm -hmm. someone for 10 years, 20 years. And it's like, man, I'm going to be with you till the day I fucking die. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Might have drunk you nights. Yeah. I fucking yeah. love you, dude. We're going to fuck shit I up. I fucking until, love yeah. you, dude. We're going to fuck shit up until the end, you know. Um, and you just appreciate that person because mm -hmm. they've been there for you. So, but everything's centered around that. So the way I do chord progressions, the lyrics, the mm. the instruments I choose to to use, like you know, and the type of singing, the way mm. I sing it, mm. all kind of incorporates into that story and experience. So, oh, like you feel comfortable in yes. yourself right now. Yeah, that's my sound. So, like previously, my sound was like really. I mean, how we all start out, right? We mimic, we copy. Mm -hmm. We're like, yo, you know. I'm yeah, I, sing, I still sing everything. in the fame. Exactly. <laughs> you sing in the fame? I sing in the fame. You like that sound yeah. of vibrato? Yeah. <laughs> I, sing the, I sing in the shower. I get real nice vibrato. <laughs> yeah. See? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Drowns you out. Um, <laughs> but, I need to be drowned if I'm singing, trust me. Oh, my goodness. But, but, but that's what we, where we started. And then uh, eventually I, I realized I could sing mm. through that chance at Frank Sinatra kept training with people they're like you have potential just keep working on it mm. we kept working on it and now it's like the time has come after all that training to find my sound and best friend which is unreleased is that and sound. very dope yeah. and very, very dope so when it does get released yeah capture it so that's that transition that story that journey that we're you know currently in right now so that's definitely nice. an that's experience nice. so uh let me ask you a question saquon what is your, cre your creative process because oh, this guy makes he can go anywhere. He could make uh fucking Makes a from a techno yeah. to trance to he could make a uh Spanish reggaeton. Mm -hmm. He can he can make his his mind is everywhere. And then he actually made a song with me that was like very beach boyish. Okay. Yeah. So Okay, not so, beach boyish. Yes. Uh, I go very much based off of feeling. I'm a Pisces. Me too. Like, uh, every, me every, too. Every, every so Pisces. she knows what's up. Much. So, okay. Everything I do is feeling based mm -hmm. like even though i don't consciously know it it's it's based on feelings like i'll think about stuff the, at the same time he's he's a very thought driven person uh -huh. so i think that's we kind of like mesh yeah right? yeah so um i mean my beep uh my process is like i, I have all this gear plugins or whatever for days mm -hmm. right <laughs> i'll just pick whatever sounds cool and then just go with it you know yeah. what i mean yeah. like I have so many years of experience and knowledge that I know what to do and how, how many exactly. years is it now? How many years is it? I've now? been doing it like since two thousand one, since mm. Ruby Loops three. You knew it since Reason Two or Reason I Three. I was right? I was from Reason One, yeah. <laughs> but like I, I was doing it on and off wow, since wow. like two thousand one, and then wow. it wasn't it wasn't until like two thousand eighteen where like I, because because man like I you know like I yeah. was in a different mind frame back in the day. He. He tried to get me to make beats like back in like 2003, 2002. Yep. Like he would go out of his way. <laughs> I'll drive to, come, to his house. Yes. Come and then take That's us crazy. to his crib just so we can get that vibe. Yes. And then nothing happened. And then he tried to get me again. Like, <laughs> But no, and, something, we, we made some things. Yeah. I got I got some crazy shit with him. Yeah. So, uh -huh. so I mean, like my beat making process is Sick. It's different. Like my, on, my, I got to. My music is different. Yeah. So. It's not different. It that actually is cranky. current. And it's 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 the beat itself mm -hmm. is a, is the song. Okay. So to have you can someone, just go off of that exactly. So to have someone else on it, it just paints a whole yeah, different whole, picture. Yeah. And with your sound, I hear it. That's why I like the music. I oh, I like, like it. This shit is fire. Yeah. So what's your creative process? Um. So, uh, everything that we do is story driven. So everything, like, you know, I'll have something I want to talk about. So, for example. Um, a song I'm working on is called Chicken, um, and it's a. <laughs> I know, and this is the irony, but Chicken is about um, someone who is trying to ask a girl out, and mm. he's too chicken to do that, and he's upset with himself because he lets that limiting belief cripple him, mm. and and he can't he can't uh, he doesn't have the guts to do that. And so everything is centered around that. So the way I then start is like, okay, well, if that's the story, what lyrics would, would it be? You know, what kind of sound would it be? What kind of chords? And then it goes from there. That was me um, every day before I met my wife. 
Chicken. Chicken. Good chicken. Good chicken. <laughs> yeah, chicken. And it's funny because yeah, chicken is chicken. funny, but then that song is gloomy as yeah, as fuck. It's fact. Yeah. Wow. But then if you sing it to yourself, you're like, man, I shouldn't be gloomy. I, you know, I'm laughing. I'm saying I'm a chicken a bunch of times, and I'm yeah. like, man. Yeah, and so maybe that will kind of be like the uplift. Uplifting. Because yeah. the funny word is not even in the music. It's just right. that funny lyric. That's cool. Follow him. I He's like gonna that. It soon. Okay, yeah. follow when it's released. When it's being released, when, it's being worked on. But if yeah. uh, we'll keep you updated on our <laughs> on our Instagram, yeah. just follow our journey there. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. Any questions? You have a question? No, I'm at all. I'm just listening. <laughs> so what's he's, the... he's dope. Very good, I man. You guys have a very good vibe too. Absolutely, we like the vibe, and you guys vibe right on right right on away. Walking. It also, you brought a whole twelve pack, which is yeah. dope too. So that works. Yeah, twenty four pack. Yeah. Was it a twenty? Yeah, double. <laughs> I knew it. I want like the a credit. Big <laughs> ass box. <laughs> you ain't seen me over there. Like, can you help me open this box? Yo, right. <laughs> uh, twenty four pack. You got, we got twenty four pack here. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, I was over there like, let me try to open this box. <laughs> Somebody help me open this box, please. Oh my goodness. So, so what is the best? Thank you for the thank you for the twenty four. Please, pack, thank you. We appreciate y'all. Gas no breaks. Uh, what is the best advice you've been given? I've been given. Now, is it someone... in regards to your music? In regards to mu- your, the music that you're. Oh, the music that yeah. I do. That's a good one. So. I would say um, it's not, it's more like what I've extracted from, you know, my idols and people I look up to mm-hmm. because my upbringing, I don't, I didn't really have anyone to look up to. Um, and so something I learned from Biggie was to uh, take something that is normally a disadvantage and to actually make it an advantage. So for example, mm-hmm. Biggie was not a sightly person to look at. Man. He was not. Dude was three, four hundred pounds. Mm-hmm. He had a six four. Yeah, lazy, lazy eye in one eye, right? You know, he had a wheezy voice. Mm-hmm. There's nothing about him that's physically attractive. Yet everybody wanted to be like Biggie. The everybody, personality. exactly. So, but he took that and he, and he made it cool. So, in one of his interviews, he'll say something like, "Man, you know, we big people, like you know, ten minutes and we're out. So we really gotta bring that, bring it, you know, yeah. when we bring it." And so I took that and I was like, okay, well, this stuff, this, like one thing I was insecure about myself was the amount of hair that I have because I'm Middle Eastern. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, a lot of people found it uh, off-putting, especially women. They're like, man, you know, I don't want that, you know. And so, but I'm like, but now I turn it around and I'm like, uh, you know, when when your parents, you know, when I'm half beast, you know, I kind of, this is kind of what happened, <laughs> you know. Jesus. So it's I like, mean. you know, it's it's just the. Uh, you got to enjoy you, man. Yeah, yeah. half beast. Yeah. Yeah, it's just you know. So what? what I is. like that shit. You gotta enjoy that shit. <laughs> yeah. You gotta make them just like you got. You gotta like it so much that they like it. Yeah. Exactly. That's Remember it. Team Perfect. Wolf? There you go. Hey, Team everybody Wolf. Loves Team yeah. Wolf. Everybody loves Team Wolf. Everybody loves Team Wolf. Absolutely. Yeah. Let me ask you the same question. What was it? <laughs> you oh, got the shit. question. Best piece of advice <laughs> oh, you've given. That I've been given oh, for man. your in regards music, to your music. Yeah. I don't know. Like I read a lot of stuff, and I've talked to a lot of people. In music like him, I I don't remember, but maybe I can give some advice to maybe producers or beat makers. Mm. Cero miedo, no fear, no fear, hey, no Ooh. fear. No AEW fear. wrestling reference. And that's what that is. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Like some new shit. <laughs> I, mean, I know. We don't rep that set. It's in Spanish. Oh, okay, cero okay. miedo, zero fear. Cero so, like, miedo, zero and ah, no okay. fear. Cero miedo. Yeah. 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 See? See? So, learn so, uh, tell, yeah, we did learn some new <laughs> stuff. The, the, the audience has a question for you guys. The audience would like to know who's your target market. Okay. Who's our target market? Mm. Um, anyone who finds solace in uh, empowering music, like... You know, mm-hmm. people who go through a rough time, a lot of people who like our music um, tend to not have uh, much guidance in their life. Mm. And so they look, and this is what I did as a, as a kid. So, you know, find solace in, in, in music. So people, anyone who likes that powerful musical kind of experience would like our music, I think. Man, yeah. you know, when I heard your music, and I, you know, he sent me your photos and everything. I was like, okay, I don't even know what to like, expect. Who is this dude? I'm sitting here. It wasn't matching. Yeah, I'm sitting here with my phone. I didn't expect I didn't know that what from to him. Expect. Yeah. I didn't expect that from him. But it was definitely an experience. I, I get that a lot. You I know? definitely say it's an experience. <laughs> because and I think that's awesome that yeah. that that it is coming from you. Yeah. 
Because there's going to be another kid that's going to see you and say, I can do that too. Yeah, you know what's crazy? People from the Middle East, they see it and they're like, I get videos of people like rapping and, mm -hmm. and like doing like they want to show shit. you. And I'm like, they want to show I'm you. I'm like, that's crazy because I've never seen that before, you know? So, so I want to ask Definitely that question. Inspiration. I see your shirt, yeah. your culture. Mm -hmm. You chose music, not UVA. Yeah. It had to be tough on the fans. Yeah. yeah, so that's something. That's one of the things that uh, we do, basically. Like, I'm paving the way for future right. Arab, Middle Eastern artists that's because right. I had to fight everybody to get to where I am, mm -hmm. um, unfortunately. Um, I mean, when you're on mother, father, just that's, they don't, they'll, they'll tell you, like, you know, I'm not supporting you if you do this. And I'm like, I don't give a shit. I'll support myself. Yeah. You know, and so I had to cut a lot of family and friends off because. Mm. They're just not going to understand it. And so I want people to look at me and say, you know what? My family's telling me the same thing, but I still want, I really want to do music. And, you know, and so I'm going to do it. It's kind of like Eminem and white rappers, yeah, right? It's right. like, you know, it is. Like, it's exactly like I'm, that. I'm sure plenty of white rappers would have been like, man, you know, no one's, a, yeah, there's no such thing as a white well, he rapper. He bleached his hair even brighter. Yeah. Than white rapper. <laughs> I'm going to be white. Super white. <laughs> I was like, who, when I, I heard Eminem as a young man, so I was a teenager in right. high school. Oh, he's on the radio and stuff, right? And I'm oh, like, he was awesome. I was like, he I'm still like, is awesome. I was just like, this, I'm like, this white kid spitting. Yes. Mm -hmm. I couldn't fucking you couldn't deny, deny it. it. Right. You can't deny it. It was like hearing the Beastie Boys. When I heard the Beastie Boys, I didn't realize when I finally seen the video, I'm like, they're they're white. They're white. Fighting for the right. Fighting for the right to party. I was already turning up. <laughs> I, hey, I was like, all right, they, they in it. They win. Yeah. Yeah. They won that one. So, I mean, it, it it definitely pays to stand out and be yourself. A lot of yeah. people are hard to, to step out there and be themselves. And it's very important. But it's not easy. And no, everybody is not going to support you. No. But you definitely have to step step out on feet. We just had this and, conversation and, and, yes, last week. You got to step out on faith and do, do what works for you. And work with like-minded people. Yeah. And, Absolutely, and when you find those people that and you're gonna find important. out that they're not being backed either. Yeah, mm -hmm. so y'all back. So you're not alone, right. exactly. And this is what this is for. This platform this is what we we exactly. want this to be. Absolutely, Thanks, man. That's yes. all thank y'all. No, thank y'all. It's, it's, for it's hard to find people like that. So when we finally do meet people who are serious and you know are like minded, it's it's really nice to see. So and to have a whole table that has touched Arlington. Right? Yeah, <laughs> we've all touched Arlington in one spot. Yeah. There you go. Yes, we did. Yes, yes we, we did. did. So let me ask uh, every, you two these questions here. Uh, let me start with sake one. Your top three influencers that motivate you that could be in any walks of life? Not necessarily music. Not necessarily music. Influencers. Uh, DJ Cool Herc. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, DJ about. Cool Herc started hip hop. I mean, <laughs> right, uh, so the Godfather. Right. <laughs> you asked me, did I know? KRS One, struck him right in the heart, Rex. Man. <laughs> right. Uh, KRS One, you made Rex laugh. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> wow. Maybe uh, Jacoby Shaddix from Papa Roach. So, to add, mm. tell me why Cool Herc. Tell me why KRS One, real quick, and tell me okay. why. Yeah, tell me why. So KRS1. Cool Herc, because without him, there wouldn't be no, most of the stuff I've been doing, especially mm. not necessarily just rap, hip hop, boom bap, or trap, or whatever, but electronic music in general because after hip hop came that electrode or electro 80s hip hop style mm -hmm. which i i consider that hip hop still Word. like africa bambada like Word. absolutely yes. Yes. Woo -woo. Right? Yes. so without him he i wouldn't names. It, if if without cool herc i wouldn't be here making beats or right. electronic techno house beats either mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah and from him came grandmaster flash who did mm -hmm. the whole crossfader thing with the electronics which, with the, which got stolen by, from pioneer but we didn't talk about that uh, uh, I, I didn't know that you yeah. gotta tell me that later because yep, the crossfade was created by him and he didn't pioneer yeah. it fast enough so yeah so uh krs1 mm, because krs1 he's just like he lives hip-hop yeah, he's like, breezy yeah i grew up studying hip-hop that's why i know like name dropping or whatever so like even even though i make like rock alternative or like electronic music or like his style of music everything i do is like hip-hop oriented like it comes out as hip-hop mm -hmm. but like i live it you know what i mean like karis one um jacoby shaddix from uh, papa roach because like like if you listen to his lyrics he's he went from like when they first came out from like broken home or whatever like his family he lived that rock style life like he became like a drug addict or whatever. Wow. And now he's just like positive. Wow. You know what I mean? You can feel his lyrics. And like, I took my wife to a Papa Roach show and she's like, 
when he sings, I can feel it. Like you can tell he truly means it. Mm. Wow. So, but like that's what I get from even listening to it on the record. Wow. Like you get that from him. So you, you put me on somebody new, Jacoby Shaddix. The Papa Roach. singer, yeah, singer. Papa I must all listen to it. That's what I'm gonna do next this week. That's gonna be my new week. Yeah, of yeah, you you heard his song, yeah. um, "Cut My Life Into Pieces," back in from 1999. Yes. I you, may have. Yes, you've heard it. I know yes. I've heard of Papa Roach. Yeah, I know I have because that name, you know, growing up in the ghetto, seen a especially lot of Papa that Roaches. song, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, they were they were rap influence. <laughs> they came out as rap, rock rap first. Uh huh. So, but okay. now they're just straight up rock. I love rock rap, man. We, yeah. What happened to rock rap, man? I used to like what's it was, the dude? It was a fad. That's why. Oh, that shit was good though, man. Rock I hate the fact they made it a fad. That it's, shit was dope. It's called new metal, but I mean, it's, people still do it. Oh, they should. Yeah. Who's good? Who should I listen to? Hollywood Undead is a pretty good rock rap. Group. All right, we're gonna we're gonna interview Hollywood Undead because you always said that. <laughs> Hollywood Undead. I'm gonna yeah. check that I mean, shit out. You, the name undead? sounds dope. They're they're rock rap. I'm they gonna check still, it out. They still do it. Yeah. I'm gonna check it out. Isn't Twenty One Pilots like rock rap? Kind of. Uh, uh, I don't know. Lincoln uh, Park. Lincoln Park. Yes. I used, to, I used to fuck with Lincoln Park. Yes, me too. Jay Z introduced me to Lincoln Park. Me too. Because yeah, he what, did the Lincoln Park. He did Park that. Three top influences. Um, I would say the first one would be currently just at the top of my head. I, um, C. T. Fletcher. Okay. You know who that is? Okay. I do not. And give us the why and who that is, because you're schooling us too. C. T. Fletcher is a um, is. A, an influencer in the fitness world. Okay. Um, he's from Compton. Um, wow. And I relate to him a lot because uh, he's, he's some sort of like, he, he does speaking, but originally he was fitness and uh, he's just very motivational and inspiring. Okay. Um, yeah. You should check him out. He's I'm going to really check cool. him out. I'm most definitely. Yeah. I'm yeah. Connect. And, he, and we both like, he grew up uh, in a very bad part of Compton, but mm -hmm. why I relate to him was because his father was very strict religiously mm -hmm. and uh, whooped his ass for sport. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's like me, mm -hmm. uh, very similar vein there. So I really did relate with him. And so like as a guide, as a kind of figure to, to yeah. listen to, he yeah. was he was a good person. To... C.T. Fletcher. I'm going to check him out, man. C.T. Fletcher. We, we, we got some fans in Cali. Yeah. Really? We got, yes, we, we we got some fans in Cali. Where, where? Yes, we do. Oakland. I, okay. Specific, specific. Yeah. Specific. Was that Uber driver. The Uber yeah. driver. I mean, those, when I heard that story, they staying away. When I heard that story on my phone, I was like, I didn't even know that was taking place. Yeah, yeah. you that's never know. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, that's how word of mouth travels. So yeah. that's number one. That's C. Number C. Fletcher, one. and I'm gonna check them out. Number two, um, Enrico Caruso. He was a opera singer in the early 1900s. Wow. Um, oh, way back. One Damn. of one of the <laughs> probably one of the most beautiful voices to ever been recorded, I would argue. Um okay. and what makes him special is I relate to him too because um he believed he couldn't sing for a long time. Okay. And it was on it was his friend that forced him to take vocal lessons and push him and push him and push him. Um and he also had complications with his parents, which is a rolling recurring theme with me. Um, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> Anybody that got a parent issue. <laughs> we all know. We all know. That. So, we uh, know so I absolutely love, love that. I love him. If you like classical music, I love classical. Definitely want to check. I played out. orchestra. Yeah. I grew up playing classical. Really? Oh, yeah, What'd you play? Definitely. I play, I love Bach, Mozart. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm into Did classical. you play an instrument or? <laughs> Play Which an instrument? I play the violin. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day, that? right in school. <laughs> yeah, me too. I play the violin. Yes, oh, I did. That's awesome. I, it, it, uh, I, I suggest that every young person on earth, fuck what anyone says, pick up that instrument or any instrument, but specifically that instrument. The bowing, the listening, you're actually holding the rhythm in your hand. That's awesome. You're feeling it. And Even though it may seem nerdy, though. Like, when I, I stopped I because right before that. I got into high school, I was like, man, this is nerdy as shit. But, like, I regret it so I did much. it all through high school. I was the only black really? kid coming off the bus with the violin in his you hand. You were the leader, my friend. That's awesome. I, yeah. By music, I love the strings. Love I will the strings. I will compose the strings. the strings, any kind of strings. It, it teaches yeah. you to think, teaches you to paint your head. It's, yeah. it's mm -hmm. another... Thought process. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why? Why I played it was because a young girl told me black kids don't play the violin. Black and you're kids like, don't uh, play the violin. I'll I be said, the first Fuck you, ho. Yeah, uh, nice. bitch. And then I became first chair. And took her out. Yes, the guy. You became first chair. Fucking right. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's dope. Fucking right. Don't tell me I can't do shit. And son. your daddy sucked it. <laughs> 
big dick. Big dick. Big dick. <laughs> you probably got mad ladies because of that. Who, who's your third? I had fun. Did you? Yeah, I had fun. Did you play a, a violin piece before that. before you got it on? You oh, no, no. Never stuff? had to. They saw me play it there. Oh, ne- you know okay. the cool thing about when you were <laughs> in, in, back then, you know, in them days. They put you on the stage and ready, so you had to do oh, shit out of the stage. <laughs> they booked the show for me. <laughs> okay, <there> you <laughs> who's your third inspiration? Third. Yeah, you're oh, third. God. Um... Mm. I would say Gary Vaynerchuk. Oh, that dude's cool, man. You've heard of him? No, I haven't. Yeah. Heard of him. You, you both are cool with me on people that he, I never heard of. He's the one who told me about Gary he's, V. You should check him out. He's, on okay, if you want to learn any social media, check out Gary people V. People are texting me what you're saying and the right people now, that you're telling yeah. me right now. They already the know. So they, I'm going I'm to have it in my, <laughs> in my box. Right Gary now. Vaynerchuk already. is a social media guru. Um, he. Is a I think he's a trailblazer. Social media um, guru. Okay. Yeah. So he he's social media everything. Um, he, he'll t- t- tell you how to post content. He'll like he's like, dude, you need to post like thirty pieces of content a day. Like you need to go all out. He's all about the grind. He's like, <laughs> this is what you that. need to do. He's straight up too, um, right? Yeah. Straight he's re- he's real. So you know oh, he'll he'll oh, tell you it like it is, even oh. if people don't like it. He's I'm, li- I'm gonna follow all these people you guys told me about. You know what's funny? Uh, you know he's in the business world, but he curses. He's one of the only people in the straight business corporate world that curses. Well, and, Russell Simmons used to as well. Yeah, but like. He loses I don't business. I think he was sound threatening at all. People, man, Russell Simmons got some shit done. Hip hop, Def Jam records, come on. <laughs> but, I don't know. but this guy is like totally corporate, non music, non or anything, wow. you know. So, wow. so the fact that he curses and loses oh, business. Oh, now that's yeah, not yeah. not just straight corporate, straight corporate cursing. Yeah, just <laughs> wow. yeah. He didn't cuss. He wouldn't make it in my one. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, he loses business, but he's like, look, I'd rather be real and lose money on it, and and right. and, and love. How I they say the realest people curse. That's right. Yeah, there you go. That's is what that, they is say. That true? I don't know what the fuck they talk about. That's <laughs> what they say. I don't know what the fuck they talk about. Either. <laughs> Shit. That's funny. Shit. Though. Yo, man, guys, you know it's a pleasure, man. Absolutely. Thank you for Yo, having us, man. Thank you, thank sir. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for the well, twenty-four pack. Y'all dope. Y'all are very dope, thank man. You. And I and I wish you guys utmost success I, man, I didn't even fuck up to wish it because I know it will happen yeah it's there the music is fire and we like I always keep telling everybody already this. been Somebody spoken was into on existence mm. I was on this show said he was gonna go to Hollywood mm-hmm. and he got on the show and he was on this show first and now he was just featured on the magazine yeah. for acting as well yeah. so, and that is you know I feel like this energy is now booming and it, yeah. I, heard, I heard y'all music Right. That shit is going to take off. It has no choice. And what you're doing for your people, yes, and your culture. That's even. That's even. That's the powerful part. That's the powerful part. Because the music is an experience. Mm-hmm. Right? That's just one side of you. The rest of you is so much more. Yeah. I appreciate that. So I I can't wait to see what else you have in store. And please yeah. please come back. And don't forget about please us. Please don't get forget there. about us. Come please back. Don't, and, and don't I think I should say the opposite. <laughs> don't forget about us. No no, no no no. You guys don't forget about us on that top ride because yes. I expect a their jet ride. Okay. <laughs> twice. Do you want champagne or what? <laughs> no, just, just let me lean up against it like Bow Wow. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh wow. Yeah. We're gonna Good. invite you to our podcast. <laughs> Oh, you got podcast? Yeah, no, please. But we will, though. Oh, no, let me know. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm down. I, I will less. definitely be on it. Say less. Yes, please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. So, yo, we're going to jump into the next portion, yo. You ready, Rex? <laughs> this is a new new segment. This is a new segment. We're going to try some new shit today, yeah, yo. My man right here, who Sam on. is going He is going to bless us with his... You're going to perform. What you performing for us right now? What you performing? It's our top single currently. It's called Good Times, Good People. Has over 1,500 streams on our... Uh, Spotify, definitely check it out. But Congrats. here's a live, yeah, here's a live performance of that. Fifteen hundred streams without no promo. Good grief. Some promo. Okay, you got a promo, right? Okay, that's good though. I'm gonna yeah. play it. Yeah, you ready? Trying to have a good time. Trying to have a good time. That's good times, good people Good times, good people Trying to have a good time Trying to have a good time Yeah It's good times, good people Good times, good people Take a ride with me along the highway Feel your hair blowing in the wind Sunshine kissing your skin Good times, good people So have a drink with me have a smoke with me, elbow tap my ribs, 
and crack a joke with me. Uh, why is everyone so serious? Can't we just chill, relax? Put your feet up on the ottoman, think back to a time when things were fine. Trying to have a good time, trying to have a good time. That's good times, good people. <laughs> Good times, good people, trying to have a good time, trying to have a good time, yeah, that's good times, good people, <laughs> good times, good people, I just want to chill with ya, I just want to chill with ya, I just want to chill with ya. I just wanna chill with ya Watch some cartoons Reminiscing back moons Eating popsicles at noon Playing Super Mario on my GameCube <laughs> Good times, good people Ten shots of tequila Nits a party Raise another glass and I ain't sorry Raise them up if you're fucked up Good times, good people Trying to have a good time Trying to have a good time yeah, that's good times, good people <laughs> Good times, good people Trying to have a good time Trying to have a good time That's good times, good people <laughs> Good times, good people Yeah All gas, no brakes Good times, good people <laughs> Good times, good people that was the live version. Check out yeah. his Instagram for the full jump. <laughs> yo, let him know Snake One. Yo, that shit was fire, man. Yeah, I was getting ready to work, but I. <laughs> the slow twerk. <laughs> You're going to invent the slow twerk. The slow twerk. No, I just dirty wine. Ooh, that's a dirty that's that a dirty is, one. That is a dirty one. Yeah. Man, whoo, that was fire, right? You heard it first right yes, here. He blew yes. from here. This is where it all began right here, baby. Yeah. Little jet ride. <laughs> <laughs> yo, can you guys tell him? Where we can find you at again, please. Husam Music, H U S A M Music dot com. And you can find us on Instagram to follow our journey at Husam Music. Follow the journey. All right. Mine is Saquon Music, S A E K O N E Music, both Instagram and Facebook. Buy a beat. Buy, yeah, buy a beat. all of them. And go viral. Before I get them. We're going to, me and me are not done. Man, you know we Before not I done. get them. I'm going to have. Loads of beats. I know you do. Buy them before I get my stimulus. <laughs> <laughs> the next Jeremy. <laughs> I wish. Hurry up again if I get my stimulus check, y'all, because I'm going to be buying Yo, all that shit. I want to ask you, start up since you got that shirt on. Did you ever want to go steal a mail, mail truck? No. <laughs> okay, I just want to ask. So it just was all about the mail truck for me. When I was a kid, I was like, I'm going to get... I didn't do it. I wanted to throw that boy's brush. That's what, what I wanted to do. To <laughs> all he did was brush his damn waves. More chestnut. No, no, that, no. Oh, Absolutely, that was not. Who? He was not in that movie. Who was it? I don't know his name. He one of them old um, comedians. I have um, no idea I'm sorry, guys. I, I forgot know. his name. I can't it wasn't no. Oh, Lord. Never mind, y'all. Where can we find you at? <laughs> I got to go watch it when I go back home. I wasn't a bit. I'm going to be honest with you. The mail truck was it for me. I know, that was kind of ghetto. That, that was, was kind of, to go to the hair show, they was, they took it real ghetto. They did, they really did, but, um, Where yeah. can we find you at? I'm Quan Naval on, <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> and you can catch me on All Gas yes. No Breaks podcast on Facebook, cause I do, I do be on there all fucking day. Thank you for being there all day. <laughs> and we all be right. posted too. We be posted too. Shout out to my man at OG underscore Frank wasn't able to make it out here. Hardest working man in show. Yeah, business. absolutely. So, but shout out my boy. Work like a Jamaican. He do, Jamaica. Jamaica. And shout out to my boy to the left, at Rex Carolis. No one and only. Yes, no one and only. He put the track through our ears. Hey. Everything right here. He did it all last minute, and yes. I had to bug him a bunch of times because I wasn't <laughs> satisfied with my headphone volume. But he did it. I'm, did. A, I'm a picky. Yeah, I'm picky. It's okay. <laughs> but he did it. Yes, That's thank right. you, Rex. And then and this was yo, and this was Bluetooth. That was vicious. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he yeah. did that. Super sick. Yo, you right. me. There was no latency with that Bluetooth. No, that was, it was, that was right? nice. No latency. That was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them, dog. No okay, lag. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> no lag. Block yeah. party entertainment. That's the studio. I gotta man. look it up. Shout them out. No lag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the you, fuck y'all oh, talking about. You can find me at Super Saiyan Santi, man. Yo, follow the GoFundMe. The GoFundMe link is down hey, here. Please. please. All gas, no break podcast. Podcast. We are on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play Music. We are. Li you can listen to us anywhere. 
only thing we're not on is Pandora, and that shit is coming up around the corner. <laughs> yes, it is. That is the only shit we not on. We if you got listen from all because you said you didn't know we were on Spotify. Yeah. We on everything. Oh, that's Spotify. I follow them. I actually listen to you guys while I work out. I don't know if that's weird. But, they do. Uh, but, yeah. I do too. Really? I do too. You listen to your own podcast. I, can I listen start, to I can it start <laughs> Cause I, we're trying to master this. You know I'm start grunting more. I think I think you guys are doing. <laughs> you grow more. Uh, 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 I think you guys are doing an amazing job. I know you're gonna grow and, and yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. Time. Yo, shout them out. Peace, y'all. Trying to have yeah, a good guys. time. Good times, good people. Good times, good people. Trying to have a good time. Trying to have a good time. Good times, good people. Good times, good people Take a ride with me along the highway Feel your hair blowing in the wind Sunshine kissing your skin Good times, good people So have a drink with me Have a smoke with me Elbow tap my ribs And crack a joke with me Why is everyone so serious? Can't we just chill, relax? Put your feet up on the ottoman Think back to a time when things were fine Trying to have a good time Trying to have a good time It's good times, good people Good times, good people Trying to have a good time